When you get to 34 weeks of your pregnancy and your baby hasn't got into the head down position, it can be a little concerning. But with some interaction on your part, most babies will happily turn into the optimum position for labour. I'm going to show you a few simple moves that can encourage your baby to rotate from a breech or transverse presentation into the more favourable head down position. You can also check out the web page on optimum fetal positioning for further advice on posture, which will help create some space for your baby to rotate. Many people believe that the best way to rotate a breech baby is to invert your body. However, there isn't any evidence to suggest that babies are actually affected by gravity inside the womb. In fact, the best way to facilitate a big fetal movement is to give them more space. Babies instinctively know what position they need to be in when the time comes. And if you make enough space for them in your pelvis, they will generally turn head down. I must just add that there are always going to be the rare occasions when a baby doesn't want to rotate. This can be due to mum having a really tight core. Strong abdominal muscles don't stretch very well and your baby won't have much space to turn. Sometimes it can be the shape of your pelvis, sometimes it can be the position of your placenta. And some babies are just awkward. So I'm going to show you a few movements that you can use to help create some more space inside your pelvis and hopefully encourage your baby to rotate into a head down position ready for your birth. So you're going to use a birthing ball or a gym ball. If you haven't got one of those then a chair is fine. You can use the end of your sofa or you can even bring your hands onto the floor and come from here. The first move you're going to do is a rocking lunge. So having one leg forward, foot onto the ground, the other hand on your ball, or your chair, or hands on the ground. And you're going to rock forwards and backwards. So just moving the pelvis forwards and backwards, creating space in your pelvis. One thing I just must mention is if you have SPD, symphysis pubis dysfunction. These hip opening movements are not going to be suitable for your condition. However, I have had success in turning a baby with a mum who had SPD. We just did a lot of hip strengthening work first of all, and then we moved into these um, rocking opening movements to help open her pelvis. Her baby turned successfully and she had a great labour. So once you've spent some time rocking forwards and backwards, you're going to come into an inverted position, into downward facing dog. Now I know I mentioned this idea that babies aren't prone to gravity, but it's only a theory. It will help to move your baby away from your pelvis and hopefully create a little bit more space too. So bringing your hands onto the ground, spread your fingers, tuck your toes under and press back into downward facing dog. Now don't worry if you can't get your feet all the way down onto the ground, you can bend your knees, press into your hands and lengthen the spine up to the ceiling. You can have a little bit of a wriggle around as well if you want to. Just rotating and rolling the hips from side to side. Don't spend any longer than three breaths in downward facing dog. And then bring your knees all the way back down and then you'll do the same on the other side. So you'll change legs, do the rocking lunge on the other side. So the last movement I'm going to show you, using the ball again or your chair and this time you're going to do a rotating lunge. So this one creates a bigger circle of space in your pelvis. You're going to use your ball or your chair again and you're going to rotate your pelvis this time. So you're going to make a big circle with your hips. Taking the legs and the hips as wide as you can comfortably get them to go. And then change the direction, go the other way. 
circle the opposite way. And then after a minute or so, you're going to go back into downward facing dog. Now, if downward facing dog is too difficult for you, if it's too strenuous, or if you have any problems with your wrists or your shoulders, you can instead do the heart melting pose instead. Bending the knees, drawing the chest close to the ground. So this doesn't give you quite as much space as downward facing dog. You'll still get that stretch through the spine. Spend about five minutes twice a day doing these movements. To reinforce the work that you've done, it's really important that you don't then go and sit slumped back onto a chair or a sofa afterwards. This will close off the space in your pelvis. Instead, try going for a short walk to continue to send the message to your baby that there is enough space for him or her to rotate. And to supplement your yoga movements, you can also try acupuncture there's a baby turning point on the little toe that they will use. Reflexology. Some reflexologists like myself will use this same baby turning point, so check with them that they know where that is. You can also try gently stroking and massaging your baby in a rotating movement. So just rotating your hands around your belly. And use your intention as well. Send messages down to your baby, asking them to please turn. So good luck. If you'd like a personal baby turning session, you can book one in with me. Or if you live outside the Midlands area, I can shoot to you online via Skype. Thank you for watching. Namaste.